So on behalf of all of us gathered online today and to those viewing this in the future, I would like to commence this webinar by acknowledging our first peoples. I acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which we meet and pay our respects to the elders past and present who faithfully cared for country for thousands of years. I'm presenting the first of today's talks from North Sydney and I therefore respectfully acknowledge the Guy people, traditional owners of this land. We also extend our respect to the Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander colleagues and guests who are present today. So my name is Belinda Daramore Denver and I'm an occupational therapist and PhD candidate from Australian Catholic University. My PhD supervisors are Associate Professor Elspeth Brood, Professor Christine Inns and Professor Peter Rosenbaum and I sincerely thank them for their ongoing support and guidance. Today I'm introducing a new and complementary approach to the measurement of vision for children with cerebral palsy, the measure of early vision use. The MEVIEW is the main outcome from my PhD research. So this research evolved from my clinical practice working as an occupational therapist with families of children with cerebral palsy. This synopsis captures some of the clinical questions behind my research questions. A young girl is receiving early intervention services and has a goal to improve play with toys. She has a diagnosis of cerebral palsy and vision impairment. She rarely looks at toys and lacks visual curiosity. Her mother and therapist wonder whether she will learn to look at toys and they wonder whether improving how she uses vision should be a focus in her therapy, which is currently focused on hand use. The clinical questions from this and similar scenarios include, how does this child use her vision? Is it important to consider her vision? Will use of vision improve? And what can be done to improve vision use? Key to answering each of these questions is the need to quantify or measure how vision is used. For that reason, my PhD research has been about developing a measurement tool but it's important to note that this research is connected to bigger research questions, including whether interventions can be provided to children and their families to improve the ability to use vision. So what have I done in this research and what will I tell you about today? So my PhD research is a mixed method instrument design project consisting of three phases, with much of the work being about what to measure and how to measure it. Today, instead of discussing the methodology, I'll briefly share the answers to key research questions and I'll focus on sharing the knowledge created by my PhD work, introducing you to MeView, a measure of visual ability. So what is visual ability? Within this research, I've defined visual ability as how vision is used in everyday activities and interactions. For those of you who are familiar with the World Health Organization's International Classification of Functioning Disability and Health, visual ability is activity level purposeful use of vision. The use of the ICF framework acknowledges the influence of the other domains on how vision is used. For example, a child's visual ability will be influenced by environmental factors, their level of motor impairment and their visual function. When exploring how visual ability might be measured, what I found was three different perspectives or approaches. In my research, I've focused on visual ability that can be measured by describing observable visual behaviours. In order to define and explain the choice of this perspective, it's helpful to also explain the perspectives that MeView does not focus on. So MeView does not focus on the factors that explain or contribute to how vision is used. These factors include everything from whether a child has problems with their eyes or brain damage, wearing glasses, motivation, fatigue, and the type, features, and location of presented visual information. Whilst important for understanding why a child uses their vision as they do, these factors do not describe how vision is used. MeView also does not focus on a child's level of functioning in vision-related activities. 
Children may be described as having good visual ability because of their success in using eye gaze technology to communicate or described as having limitations in visual ability because of their difficulties with reading or not having enough vision to use powered mobility. Whilst these activities and levels of participation are important, assessment of, of functioning is complicated by many of the factors on the previous slide, including vision, cognition, motor functions, and aspects of the environment. So it can be really hard to know what is actually being measured. Nevi focuses on descriptions of how vision is used in everyday activities. These observable visual behaviours have become the content of Nevi. The measure of early vision use has been developed and validated for children with cerebral palsy up to the age of 12 years. Testing suggests that it will be most useful for young children or children where there is a concern about how vision is used. Nevi aims to describe purposeful use of vision. The focus is observable visual behaviours and typical performance, not best performance. Nevi is a 14 item parent rated questionnaire. Each item is a question and four response options. I'll go through the 14 items now and come back to the scoring and interpretation. So the first item or behaviour is reacts. This is likely to be the most basic visual behaviour. It simply asks parents whether or not they observe their child reacting to visual things. There are then five items about visual attention to different kinds of stimuli, starting with visual attention to people, where good ability includes the ability to give eye contact. Then visually attends to toys and objects is about sustained visual attention and visual curiosity with toys and objects. Then there's visual attention to what the hands are doing. And visual attention to books and pictures, including curiosity for new pictures. Then visual attention towards a variety of digital screen content. Next, we have the ability to use vision over distance, which refers to distance that is beyond the immediate space or out of reach and further into the distance, such as across the park. It asks whether the child shows visual interest and interaction over distance. Shifts looking is the ability to purposefully and efficiently shift looking around and between things. This is the type of looking that's seen when a child looks around and explores the visual environment, visually searches or looks between options to choose or show preferences. Follows moving targets is next with good ability, including the ability to follow different types of moving targets, moving at some different speeds and in some different directions. Examples of moving targets might include a person or pet walking around, the spoon during mealtime or a rolling ball. Searches for and finds things using vision is considered good when it can be done in situations that include lots of visual clutter, such as looking for a preferred toy amongst other options. Shares visual attention is about how well a child shares their visual attention between looking at their parent and looking at other visual information. For example, whether the child looks from a toy they are playing with or want to play with to the parent and then back to the toy. Responds to details rates how much a child notices a wide range of everyday visual details, such as facial features and expressions, small items, specific parts of a toy or picture, obstacles on the ground, and noticing nonverbal cues such as pointing. Time to respond is about how quickly a child responds to visual information. And the last item, overall use of vision, is an overall rating of how well or how effectively vision is used in everyday activities. When completing MeView, Parents choose one option from four that best describes their child's typical performance in everyday activities. On this slide is an example of item two, how much does your child look at and attend to people? The general meaning of the first response option for all items is does do, which is the highest level of ability. 
The second is does do but limited. The third is can do or may do. And the general meaning of the last option is does not do. Scoring is currently limited to the sum of scores resulting in a range from 14, reflecting the lowest levels of visual ability, to 56, reflecting higher levels of visual ability. So what do we know about how MeV works? I've summarised on the available evidence on this slide from my PhD. The green circles represent sufficient evidence, orange represents indeterminate, and the grey circles represent psychometric properties that have not yet been evaluated. There are no red circles as there's not evidence that there is a problem with MeV. In testing so far, MeV has been found to be relevant, comprehensive and comprehensible to parents of children with cerebral palsy, reflected by the green content validity circle. Initial structural validation analyses provide evidence of MeV as a single, 14 item scale with excellent internal consistency. But further analyses are required with FASH analysis in order to receive a sufficient or green rating. Hypothesis testing to support the construct validation of MeV has also been completed in one study. Taken in combination, the findings from my PhD suggest MeV has potential for use, but requires further research to assess its quality as a measurement tool. A strength of this research is the strong evidence of content validity, considered the most important measurement property. MeV currently has a B rating, but further analysis of the internal structure of MeV using rash analysis may change this to an A, where MeV could be recommended for use. Ongoing data collection is in progress to support that. In the meantime, what MeV provides us with is a standardised set of questions and response options for describing how vision is used that could be useful in clinical practice. We can use these for describing abilities and setting goals now. Rules for interpreting scores as a measure of visual ability is the next step. The target population and visual ability construct align with priorities for early intervention acknowledging that the assessment of young children is important because early visual behaviours influence other areas of development and learning. The defined visual behaviours may provide a new focus and ingredient for active intervention based on the principles of neuroplasticity. The way MeView seeks the parent perspective also fits with a family-centred approach to service delivery. So what are the next steps and what is my call to you? So I'm in the final stages of my PhD, but I'm already looking to the next steps. My program of research has led to the creation of new knowledge and a new tool that I hope may help to optimise outcomes for some children with CP. The questions I, and perhaps we should now be considering are, should we implement MeView into clinical and research practice? If so, who will use it? Where will they use it? What will be the barriers? What will be the facilitators? And what steps and strategies will be needed? My contact details are on this slide and I would love to talk to anyone who has an answer or opinion on these questions. Our website for MeView is currently under development and will be updated over the next couple of months. There is a form on the website for submitting questions and links to ongoing data collection. Thank you for listening.